Welcome. Today, we're going to talk about how to use Microsoft Teams to collaborate with members of your team or working group, including having conversations, co-authoring a document, starting an audio video screen sharing meeting, and more. So let's jump right into it. Here I have Microsoft Teams open. I'm in the team view, so I've got a number of teams that I'm a member of down this white column. I've got the X1050 launch team. I've got the service desk team and so on. Within each of these teams, I've got its own uh, ownership and membership and a, a number of channels that we created like digital asset web and go to market plan. These channels were created so we can have conversations and share files specific to those topics. Before I jump into the collaboration, I want to show you, let's make sure we've got our team set up correctly. So I've got a number of members here within my organization, but I want to show you how easy it is to add people outside of my organization. So as long as I have an email address for them, I can send them an email. They will, um, they will get that email, be able to uh, log in using that email address, and they'll have access to work on files and contribute to conversations within this team with me, just like anyone else. So let's go back to my market plan. I have a, a, a market plan document that I need help with. So I'm going to pull it from my OneDrive. Uh, I need to share it out with the rest of the team and, and get some help. So I can put this into the persistent chat here that anyone within the, the team can see. And then I'm hoping that somebody will see it and say that they can help. So I'm go. it looks like I've got a notification here that Megan can help, so that's great. So let's co-author. Let's edit this in Teams without leaving. This is full co-authoring, so we can type in the document. I can see where Megan is typing and what she's got selected. And this is working on the same document at the same time in the same place. So I get full version history. I don't have to check in and check out and I don't have to send around multiple versions of V1, V2, V3 on the end. So this is great. We can still continue to have our conversation around the document, which often is just as important as the content inside. And then while I'm at it, if we wanted to speed things up, I can do a quick meeting where we can do audio, video, screen sharing. I can record the session for later viewing, and I can get this done, this document done while talking with Megan right here without leaving Teams. The conversation and that meeting is stored in the persistent chat history and is stored with that document for as long as the, the team is around. In addition to being able to meet now really quick on this, I can also schedule meetings just like I can in Outlook and other applications. So this is my, my exchange calendar. I can schedule meetings instead of just doing the quick meet now as well. So now that we've got Megan helping us out with this, why don't we formalize this? I've got a Microsoft Planner plan and a tab here integrated in Teams. I can add a task to this Kanban board to finish the market plan. I can assign it to Megan on a specific date. I'll assign it to her. And now we formalize this, she'll get a notification. I can move this around. Now we know that we've got that taken care of. I can also, while I'm at it, maybe move on and look at a Power BI report that I have to see my analytics around the market share for this product and other products that I'm working on. So lots of really nice integrations here within Teams so I can do my business process without having to remember all kinds of uh, tabs to open and links to go to. Um, I, to finish up here, I've got one last notification. Megan's asking how we're going to name this thing. So I want to show you chatbot integration. I've got a bot named Polly here that I can send a survey question and some answers. And then she is an application of the back end. So I can have a conversation, a chat with Polly just like I can any other human. And Polly will take that. Um, information I sent, go back, create a quick survey, and put that information here for other people to be able to use and give me a nice little little view, saving me time and a bunch of emails. So that's it for today. Lots of stuff still left to show in Microsoft Teams, but today we, we talked about collaborating with other members of our team, adding external guests, having conversations, co-authoring a document, creating an audio video screen sharing meeting, um, planner and Power BI integration, and finally, chatbot integration. Thanks.